Hello, I'm Karen and in this video I'm going to share with you how I came across these symbols in Jiahu and I could see English letters in them and what I did is I, I, I could see the letter F, the letter L, an O, a U, an L, an S, a V, and I've got three lines, one, two, three. <clears throat> and these these letters, these symbols here, these were dated to be um, 6,600 BCE, so that's before our current era. And I realised as well that with this set of letters, I could tip them around upside down and mess about with them and I created the English alphabet. So if I turn that upside down and use one of the lines I could create an A. If I use two lines and an L and a curve I could make a B and C etc. And then um, I decided to make the lowercase so I used a curve and a line to create an A, two lines and a curve to create a B. And as I was going along, I couldn't create the G and so it looked like normal letters. So I used the O and one of the L's to make a G. I used the U and an L to be able to create a Y. And then I realised um, as I was doing my research that <clears throat> if I use the word God and, and did it in the same way, so I've got a curve and this L to create the G and then O, and the D was made with a curve and two lines to make the D. If I kept jiggling this round, I could, and keep reusing obviously the letters, I could create all of the lowercase set of letters of the alphabet. And, <clears throat> and I realized that with that, I could actually break this S in half and I could snap that, stick off that F. Because if I use this curve and curve, I could actually create an S. And um, then when it came to me making the G, I could actually use a curve, a line and a curve to create the G and a curve, a line and a curve to create the Y. And so I made a whole set of letters. Um, and so I'm going to show you the set of letters and show you how I, what I did is I did the same principle what I did with the, my other set of letters. And I use my own name. So I'm going to just put God here so you can see the term. Oops, you can't see that. G O D. So you can see how each letter is made of a broken portion. So we've got a curve and a line to create the A, two broken lines and a curve to make B, C, D, E, F, G. H, I, J, the K was made with two lines and then this tips the other way around, K, the L is just two broken lines, M, N, O, P, the Q I did this time I did a, a curve, a line and this here and then two lines and a curve to make the R, two curves to create an S, a line, a line and a curve to make T, U, V, a W is made with this curve this way, uh, <clears throat> sorry that L shape that way and then a curve for the W, two lines create the X, a curve, a line and a curve to make the Y, a straight line and this L shape again to make the Z. And so this time, because this was all lowercase, I created my own name again in lowercase letters. So I've got the K, an A, an R, the E, and the N. My middle name is Linda, so I wanted the L and the Y. 
and I wanted an N but obviously I've used the N so I broke up the M and used one stick and one curve to create the N and then I wanted a D and then I wanted an A so I used one line and one curve to create the A my surname is Hutton so I'd use the H as it was the U T O I don't know why I've put an O there because I want another T <coughs> so I'm going to use the P broken to pieces to put the other T in and the line and the curve of the J twizzled round to make the N and so then I looked to see what letters I've got left over, the same as I did with the other one. And I was looking for this capital L shape. So I've got one, two, three, and four. And so I did the same as I did with my other one <clears throat> and made a capital I. And the reason that I've jiggled that around because I could also put it this way around so that it was an England flag because I'm from England. Okay, so we're just going to ignore that bit for a minute as so I looked at what other pieces of these letters I've got left over and in my other things I wasn't finding the word all so I used a lowercase a the two lines there to create an L two lines there to create the other L <clears throat> and then I've got one two three four curves that I could then turn into an eight and then I've got one, two, three. Where's the other one gone? Where? Why hasn't it? Oh, oh there it is <laughs> on the F. I lost myself there. <clears throat> so I created two eights. And then the lines that are left over, so I've got one, two, three, and there should be one more. It's because I'm tired and I know that. There it is on the G. So I've got one, two, three, four. Okay, so I created the I all eight. And I said that the I all eight, I'm using it as like as a signature code because each time I've done this, I've done it with lots and lots and lots of doing it with all sorts of different documents and things and i keep getting the royals names over and over again and that i keep getting this i all eight i didn't understand what the significance was to start off with but as i've gone on i have actually learned what that's all about but <clears throat> when it comes to this sequence you can have all as in a lowercase l um, a and two capital l's or sometimes it'll be a capital A and capital L's. Or sometimes it'll be a capital A and lowercase L. So there's different versions of the all. And there's different versions of the eight. So you can do it like that. Or you can do a curve. And you can do lines that way around. Or the way that I've just shown you there. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you. With the Clarence House statement that they've got on their Twitter of what it turns into <sighs> okay so the actual statement says updates so we've, they've got a capital U which is just done as a curve upside down and we're doing it in this broken set of letters as well so that you can see the same way that I used it with the alphabet <clears throat> to create my name I'm now going to create their names so we've got updates Pictures, so P-I-C-T-U-R-E-S and videos, A-N-D-V-I-D-E-O-S from, sorry it's going to keep going out of focus because I keep moving my hands from, that's a line and two curves for the M. You can see that. Updates from Clarence House. So we want C L A R E N C E. Now, when you're copying down what somebody else has written, you have to make sure that you use the same 
thing. So they've actually used a capital H there. That's H O U S E. <clears throat> so we've got updates, pictures, and videos from Clarence House about A B O U T the Prince P R I N C E of Wales, so a W, that's a V and a curve, remember? A L E S about the Prince of Wales and the Duchess of Cornwall and the and I'm copying it how they have the capital letter there the Duchess so to D U C H there's a line there E S S O F and then Cornwall C O R N W A L L <clears throat> so it's updates, pictures and videos from Clarence House about the Prince of Wales and the Duchess of Cornwall. And when I've been doing this code, I mean, I've been looking through lots of different things, the royals always keep their title. So I'm going to keep Prince. So if they're in the direct throne um, link, they always keep Prince, Queen or King. Okay, so we've got Prince, and we're now going to look for Charles, because this is all about the, um, the Prince of Wales, who's obviously Charles, and the Duchess of Cornwall, who's Camilla. So we've got our C, and an H, an A, we want an R, and an L, an E. And the S. His next name is Philip. So we want the P and an H and an I, <clears throat> an L. We want another I, but there isn't any. Oh, there is. There's an I there, sorry. And we want another P. His next name is Arthur. And remember, this one's all in lowercase. So I'm translating it into now because I'm using the lowercase format. So I want an A. I want an R. Then we've got the R and a T. That's a T. We want another H. Okay, so when you look around, I can't see a lowercase H. So I'm going to use two sticks and the curve because I'm breaking it apart and rebuilding it so I've got an H and a U and now I want an R. I'm going to do the same again um, because I actually saw that I've got an H then we're to turn this H on two lines and a curve into the R. So we've got Prince Charles Philip Arthur and his next name is George. So a, a George is made with two curves and one stick. So we've got one curve, one stick, and one curve for the lowercase g. And I want an E and an O. <clears throat> and I want an R. I don't know if you can see all of this. <laughs> I want two curves and one line to create another G and I want an E. So I'm going to use a curve and a line to create the E. So we've got Prince Charles, Philip, Arthur, George. Now we're going to look for Camilla. So we want a C, an A, the M, and I want an I. So I'm going to use part of that capital letter T there for my I. We want an L, and another L, and an A. So we've got Camilla. Her next name is Rosemary. So I'm going to use two sticks, one curve, 
So I've broken that apart, rebuilding it on two sticks and the curve to make the R. And the O and an S and an E. <clears throat> now I need an M and an M is one stick, one curve and another curve. So one stick, one curve, one curve. So I've got an M. And then I want an A. Now I need an R. And an R is two sticks and one curve. One, two sticks and the curve to make the R. The Y is two curves and one stick. So it's one curve, one stick, one curve. So we've got Camilla Rosemary. <coughs> In this sequence of things, because it's all to do with crochet, um, when we've got a lot of letters, then we often find the word crochet. So I'm going to write down the word crochet. So I've got C. To make an R, remember it's two sticks and one curve. One, two, and the curve. I want an O. I need another C now. So I'm going to just use part of that S there for a C, and I want an H, which is two lines and one curve, two lines and one curve, and an E, and then I want a T, so I want two lines and one curve to create the T. Now I've already got the um, formal titles up there. So I decided, because I've got letters left over, to look for their actual surname. And their surname is Mountbatten, um, is part of it. So I'm going to look for an M. So I want a curve, a curve and a line to create an M. I want an O. I want a U. So I'm going to use a curve and a line there to make a U. And I want to have an N, so I'm going to have a straight line and a curve to make the N. I want a T, and I've got one there. So I've got my T. And I want a B. So B would be two lines and one curve. So I'm breaking that F up and turning it into a B. I've got one curve, one stick there for the A. I want another T. So I want two lines and one curve to create a T and I'm having two lines and one curve to make another T and then I want an E and an N so I'm going to have the curve and the stick there to have Mountbatten and then um, it's, a, it's a double barrel surname so it's Windsor so I want a W and I want an I so I'm going to have part of the H there to have as the I, as then the N, and I want a D, and so I want two lines and one curve to create the D. I want a, then an S, and I want an O, and then I need another R, which is two lines and one curve. So I've got one line that I can use there. And I've got one line that you can use there and the curve to make Windsor. And so now I've got nearly all of my letters, the broken pieces are nearly all gone. So I've got to look to see if I've got the I all eight. So I do the capital L bits first and I've got two of those. So I'm going to use those that way around. And I'm going to use this curve and that line there to create the all. And then I've got a circle and a curve to be able to create one eight. And then I've got to look through all of my letters to see um, what letters have I got left over. <clears throat> and um, I'm going to go for the curves. So I've got, I've crossed those two pieces up, but I've got that one curve there. That's two, that's three. And that's four. So I can actually create one of those kind of eights. And I'm going to look through it again just to double check everything to make sure that I've used all of these 
pieces of my um, letters on that row and then I'm going to check all of these here because they're all made of broken pieces and I'm looking for pieces that haven't crossed off and I've got two sticks there so I'm going to cross those two sticks off and put those down here just so that I can see them easier and then I've got an, an E there so I'm going to that's one curve and one stick and then I've got a curve there and I just spotted <laughs> as I was going along there we've got another curve and another line and just come along and check these letters all the way along and so we have a look and we can see that from these um, letters here I've got three C's there and oh I've got another stick there let's just double check everything so we're checking all of these letters to make sure everything's been crossed off because once you're crossing them all off oh we've got an O there look so we've got an um, I'm going to put the O up there and we're going to take that C away there and put that one underneath there and then just double check each piece of these letters to make sure that everything has all been crossed off and it does look like I have crossed them all off so then I'm going to just look at these what I've got left over here and I can see I've got two curves so I've got a curve and a curve I'll take those away there and then I can use these two lines to create an eight sorry I didn't cross off that one very well did I <laughs> just get my little piece of tissue okay so they've crossed off and it left me with those three eyes there and so um, I actually what I did is I actually removed one of those eyes and put it in the middle because that's actually a hyphenated name and oh there's one more one more line there so these are my lowercase eyes and so there you can see that you can actually break up their statement and turn it into their full name so you've got Prince Charles Philip Arthur George Camilla Rosemary Mountbatten Windsor we've got the crochet and we've got the eye and we've got the all and we've got the eights okay now I know this I know that it's, it comes across as a bit strange but because it keeps happening over and over again that's proving to me that this is some form of code okay so this is my second version and I have got some more because I want to prove to you all what this is all about okay so thank you for watching thank you for liking thank you for sharing bye for now